We are going to be talking about the truth about transgenderism. We have on our panel today um, Mr. Walt Heyer, Mr. Jeff Younger, and State Representative Tom Oliverson. I'm going to ask them to come up to the stage right now if you would give them a big round of applause. And while they're coming up, I want to read a um, couple of bios to you, give you some background on them. So, Walt Heyer was a husband and a father and a corporate executive who underwent gender reassignment surgery at the age of 42 and lived eight years as a woman. Through effective psychotherapy and faith in God, Walt was restored to his male gender 30 years ago. Walt now speaks at conferences around the world, and his history, his story, has been featured in numerous documentaries and articles. Through his website, sexchangeregret.com, and articles and books, Walt shares an insider's perspective and spreads hope to people impacted by this topic. State Representative Tom Oliverson. Dr. Tom Oliverson represents Texas's 130th State House District in Northwest Harris County, including the communities of Tomball, Cypress, Waller, and Hockley. During his first term in the legislature, he served on three House committees, Public Health, Insurance, and House Administration. An unapologetic defender of life and a small government conservative, Dr. Oliverson staunchly opposes abortion and advocates for free markets and limited government regulations. And then we have, last but not least, Mr. Jeff Younger. Jeff Younger is fighting to stop his son, James, from being transitioned to a girl. Mr. Younger's ex-wife divorced him, and during the divorce, she socially transitioned James to a girl. Not only have Texas courts done nothing to protect James, but a court-ordered custody evaluator recommended that the boy be allowed to transition. Mr. Younger is still in court trying to save his son. Gentlemen, thank you, welcome. We appreciate you here, and I'm gonna come over there and join you. And we'll see if uh, Dr. Oliverson will be able to join us here in a moment. Uh, if someone could check on him. But I want to just kind of talk with Dr. Oliverson. Thank you for joining us, sir. Glad to have everyone here. And I just want to kind of kick this discussion off by um, saying that at the heart of transgenderism are radical ideas about the human person, in particular, um, that people are not who they claim to be, um, regardless of contrary evidence. A transgender boy is a boy, not merely a girl who identifies as a boy, at least that's what they claim. And it's very understandable why activists um, make these claims, because an argument about transgender identities uh, will be much more persuasive if it concerns someone who is not merely uh, someone, someone who, about someone, what someone is, not merely how someone identifies, is what I'm trying to say. And so the rhetoric of transgenderism is that people are the gender that they prefer to be. That's the claim. And at the core of transgender ideology is the radical claim that feelings determine reality. It's a subjective reality, if I can call it that. And as you all know very well, uh, from this idea comes extreme demands on society to play along with them, and extreme coercion from heretics and apostates who dare to try to expose them. So, so with that, let's let's unpack some of these issues. I want to start.